Oh, what's that smell? You're feeling nauseous, your eyes are burning, and you can't see or breathe. Are you the target of a tear gas attack? No, you just got in the way of this stinker, and now you're suffering the consequences. But hold on, help is on its way. Here's how to survive a skunk attack. You weren't completely wrong. Skunk sprays have been compared to tear gas as both will make you cry. They contain chemicals that'll irritate your eyes and nose, causing mucus production and a lot of tears. Oh, and that rotten egg smell? Courtesy of thiols. These sulfur-based organic compounds are found in skunk spray. The smell is so strong that it can be carried by the wind for a whole kilometer. How far can a skunk spray? Why shouldn't you use tomato juice to mask the smell? Which home remedy would get the stink out? Step 1. Beware of daytime skunks. Insects and bees are on every skunk's menu, so it's common to run into one digging in your garden at night looking for snacks. However, if you spot one during the day, beware. Skunks are nocturnal, so seeing one during daytime hours is unusual. It might just be desperate for a meal, but it can also be a sign of rabies. Stay back, but pay attention to its behavior. If you see it stumbling around or acting lethargic, call animal control so they can safely remove it. Step 2. Don't get skunked. Skunks can spray you multiple times, but before you wind up on the wrong end of this animal, you'll at least have some warning signs. When a skunk is agitated and unhappy with your presence, it'll let you know by stomping its feet. Then it'll turn around and raise its tail. If you still haven't read the room, the animal will look over its shoulder and hiss at you. That's your last chance to back up before you get skunked. Step 3. Move slowly. This upset animal has raised its tail at you, and you want to get away quickly, but not so fast. Move slowly if you want to avoid getting sprayed. Running might startle it, cueing a defense mechanism to squirt at you, and they can hit a target from more than 4 meters away, so chances are you won't be able to run fast enough. If you get cornered and about to get sprayed, turn around, close your eyes, and cover your face with your hands. Step 4. Drop the juice. Despite your best efforts, you got skunked. I promise you, You'll make it through this, even if the smell has you thinking you won't. Let's get that awful odor off you. It's a common belief that tomato juice would do the trick. This is just a myth. All it will do is distract your nose. To effectively remove the stink, get in the shower immediately. That'll help to oxidize the thiols and neutralize the stench. Using soap and shampoo would be enough, but if you want to go the extra mile, you can soak in a bath of baking soda for about 20 minutes. Step 5. Make Rover a home remedy. Skunks and dogs aren't exactly buddies. Your pet can annoy that skunk in your backyard rather quickly and get sprayed as a result. To safely remove the stink out of your pet's fur, you can create a homemade brew. Use a teaspoon of grease-cutting dish detergent, a quarter cup of baking soda, and a quart of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Rub the mixture on your pet and let it sit for a few minutes, then rinse with water. Speaking of dogs, some of them can be your best friends, but others, not so much. Every year in the US alone, 14,000 people are hospitalized after being bitten by a dog. It would suck being part of that statistic, but luckily, we have just the video for that too. Here, on how to survive.